Hello guys, so continuing my Ask Ali series, I'm gonna leave the link on this form down below and then if you ask me a question, I might choose your question and make a separate video about this. I got loads of questions about pretty much same subject. Alicia, best hairstyles for long faces. Roxanne, tips to make my face look less narrow long. Rahma, best tips for long and flat faces. Ramsha, Hey Ali, love your videos. Thank you. Please make a video for all the narrow and long face ladies, like what hairstyles they can do to help balance the length of their face or make them look wide. And what makeup tricks can do the same job? Help. Martha, how to work with long face that looks dragged down by wavy hair? The last question is actually pretty specific, so I'm gonna reply right now. So long faces uh, that have wavy hair that is dragging them down normally that happens when wavy hair doesn't have enough air in it sometimes all you need to do is just cut a couple of inches shorter or just one inch just cut off those thin ends because sometimes those thin ends they just have that tendency to make the hair look very thin and it's just lying by your face close to your face it's it can drag down sometimes or sometimes some layers can help too but not too much layers not like super mullet but just a little bit of layers just to make the waves slightly lighter here on top that can really make it look absolutely different and beautiful and also if you cut it shorter especially some women they like to cut it slightly shorter on top then in this case uh, again not a mullet just a very very vertical slide down slightly lightening up those top hair then maybe your, your waves will become smaller curls if they become smaller curls then sometimes it can be easier for you just to it will be more air in them and if it will be more air in them and more a volume on top more volume on the sides too that will look amazing and actually it doesn't matter if your face is long or oval it doesn't matter for for if you feel like it's dragging you down i don't think it's because of your face is long or longer than oval so just try that just try first to just to cut the dead ends a little bit and then see how it goes and then you can just try and cut it slightly there and maybe, maybe slightly add it will add some air to your hair you know and it will not drag you down so okay let's go for tips for long uh, faces some time ago i also uh, answered on questions about white faces uh, about makeup and about hair for white faces you can check them out so for long faces many people say don't do straight hair straight fine hair thin hair or straight hair on the sides i disagree i think it looks amazing and if it elongates your face it's even better L long faces look amazing and it's a certain style it just gives you a certain vibe there are so many uh, uh, famous people with elongated faces and they can pull off something that wider faces or maybe more oval faces they just can't pull off that well like Jan B jane B birkin for example with her that famous French fringe and actually she was a you she was a British girl right so she just moved to France but she was that kind of combination of that English and French style and she became a style icon and uh, you can see her hair actually was very thin and it was lying down the sides of her face but she made that fringe and she made that curtain bangs I would say probably that gave her so much chic and she played her outfits around that only if you exaggerate the volume on top really exaggerate it and not making volume on the sides but making only volume on top like that of course that can really exaggerate and make your face look longer than that is another good example lisa eldridge she has slightly oblong face but in her case for example she has her lips are slightly higher here so she has slightly longer chin so she is what she's doing she's correcting that one feature uh with her makeup she doesn't do too much contouring in her face she doesn't do sometimes she goes without any contouring she just goes with some blush she, she doesn't try to make her face slim necessarily and stuff like that she doesn't apply too much darker powder in her chin as well so what she's trying to do is just she's trying to make her bottom lip slightly lower so she is just overdrawing her bottom lip slightly uh, on the bottom here so that kind of occupies some of space of her chin and then her chin just looks not as elongated and she kind of doesn't care like the face looks pretty harmonized so you see some people they are just correcting some features themselves not the face itself but just some features they're just making them slightly more even 
slightly more proportionate. If you watch my video about face shapes, I talk a lot about that and I actually have another video about long faces. All those links I'm gonna leave down below so you can you can check that and I'm explaining you how exactly you should make the makeup for longer faces. I'm not gonna go too deep into the subject. Uh, today I'm more general about this. Also today I have much more experience with women with longer faces, women that I've worked with so and what we did. So in general the answer is it, normally it's something else. It's not the face. Normally it's something else that we fix and boom. I heard some specialists also said that no central parting. It can make your face even longer. I disagree. And I think it looks very hippie. It looks very 70s. If a woman with elongated face is making no fringe, nothing, long hair, long hair or bob or long bob and longer, 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 when she has that central parting, I think it looks amazing. Even if she has a flat top, even if she has a lot of hair on the sides or she has very flat hair on the sides, even if the hair is very thin. I think it looks amazing. It has the vibe. It has the mood. If everything else is playing with it, then it's just gonna shine. Like, for example, Sarah Jessica Parker, also, if we look at those three parts of the faces, Sarah Jessica Parker, she has uh, elongated middle part of her face also. But there's no need to correct it anyhow, because that is those small details that that is different from from other people Haley baldwin she has pretty long face and her forehead that top part is pretty small and sometimes she does wear a fringe actually and sometimes she doesn't so you see she doesn't care another thing that looks amazing on long faces is sleek hair on the back and bun hair bun very sleek hair bun on top you know some women with wide and rounded faces especially if their head is pretty flat sometimes when they're making their hair super sleek super super sleek that slightly make their face slightly wide wider than that is so they always try to slightly lift it on top and for you guys you don't need that so yeah if we talk about bangs uh, the character is the most important thing here because bangs is uh, is an accessory it's not, it's, it should not be used to hide something. If let's say you have very oblong face and you have huge forehead, don't do your bangs just to cover your forehead. And actually I'm talking about tall foreheads in this video. So I'm gonna leave the link down below. So you will check that. Don't build your hairstyle and haircut and hair color only to serve some imperfections how you how you perceive them we don't serve imperfections because those imperfections is it's a lie there's no such thing it's a created thought if the thought can be created it can be also not created you know that's a, another trick so you see the bangs it mostly depends on your overall style on your lifestyle on the vibe that you want to create if you have long face and let's say you're tall you're slightly muscular you love 70s you love long stuff you love long pants you dress slightly vintage and stuff so that bangs can look gorgeous on you especially if you're wearing something like curtain bangs longer bangs and uh, longer hair with central parting and go to look amazing like real hippie real hippie or if you have slightly different vibe, I don't know, maybe your features are pretty sharp. Maybe you like more sophisticated, more glamour, so more clean look, less natural. So probably for you, that fringe just won't look in harmony with the rest. Even though you have huge forehead, that's amazing. Just keep it and keep it, keep it open. It will look amazing with open face. Alexa Chung, she has pretty long face and she doesn't care. Sometimes she is wearing shorter hair, sometimes longer. Sometimes she's wearing bangs. Sometimes those bangs are shorter. Sometimes they're longer. And sometimes she doesn't wear bangs at all. And she just shows uh, her face. She doesn't care too much. It's just, she's about the outfit. She's not even about makeup too much. She's more about the fashion, right? So she knows how to build that look for herself, how to look stylish. She doesn't care too much about her hair and her makeup. Lifestyle. Iman, long face, open forehead, beautiful. She doesn't care too much. She has a long face. She doesn't care too much. She opens her forehead all the time because this is not just her thing, especially that period of time when she had those photos it was just not her thing that bangs was not her thing the outfits that she was wearing was very elegant and slightly dramatic so she just didn't want to that fringe maybe it was too noisy at that time for her so she didn't just wear it she was she would open her face 
she would pull her hair on the back. So many women, if you know uh, my kibi series, kibi types, right? So some women ha can have more sharp bones, some women can have more blunt bones. Blunt is square with slightly rounded corners like that. So that is blunt. So some women can have blunt bones. So women with more blunt bones and uh, oblong faces, they look slightly more natural, have slightly more natural vibe. So more tousled hair probably would look cool on her, on them and stuff and there are women with oblong faces who can have pretty sharp features and if they're very tall they can be maybe dramatic women and uh, they already have slightly different vibe in them so for them probably something more delicate delicate clean and minimalistic would be better or something more geometric and sharp and there are small girls who have oblong faces for example tiny but slightly tomboyish maybe they're slightly squarish in figure maybe there's flamboyant gamins i don't know sometimes flamboyant gamins can have longer faces they can do whether explosion in their hair or they can do some geometry asymmetrical geometry on their hair you see so it just depends on on so many things on the overall combination of those bone structure musculature and flesh and how soft it is or how dry probably you are you see so it depends on many things so again another thing why we are not building our outlook uh, and outfits around long faces. Giselle Bunchen, so you see, she sometimes has that central parting partial and long hair, for example, or she can have a partial on the side here, and it creates that more horizontal diagonal, as opposed to those girls that I had tips for round, round rounder faces, so she, they would have more uh, more vertical diagonal here by the face, so they would they are parting would not be in the center, but slightly on the side, but not too much on the side, because when it's too much on the side, then the hair goes just like that. But for example, for a blonde faces, these girls uh, look amazing with that, especially if they're, they're slightly asymmetrical and they love that asymmetry. So basically any length of the hair can look amazing. It's just, it doesn't depend too much on that. It's just, as I said, if you are exaggerating the volume on top and make it very sleek on the sides, they can just, too much exaggerated long face but just in general you can do whatever you want you have even more freedom than girls with round faces because all those slickness and uh, all those sleek buns and if it doesn't uh, fit you you say probably it's not because of the face shape i can guarantee maybe 99 and 0.9% that it's not because of the face shape, it's because of something else. Maybe the vibe, the style, your lifestyle or something else is just, it just doesn't work all together. So you feel more, you just feel better with like when it's something hanging in here, I don't know. It just depends. Those are my tips. Let me know in the comments if you already do things like that and it helps or you do, you do them if it doesn't help or you try to do that and it helps. Let me know and um, Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Subscribe on my Pinterest for 13 boards as an inspiration for the body types. Also, you can subscribe on my Instagram. All the links I'm going to leave down below. Also, you can become my sponsor or subscribe on my Patreon for some exclusive videos, some early access to these videos and um, just if you want to support me and my channel. Thank you so much, guys, and I'll see you very soon. Bye-bye.